Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about the way our nervous system reacts when we feel that we're under threat. So by this I'm talking about when we go into a hyper arousal or when we go very low where we feel almost frozen and numbed and can't move because that is out with our body's nervous system's tolerance zone. We're either higher or we're lower. So it's important that we're able to recognise this and have ways how to manage this. Now anyone who goes into a hyper arousal, you'll feel a big surge of energy and you might feel agitated. And you just, ooh, you, can, you just know that you're starting to get that panicky feeling that you want, your energy is going to your arms and legs. You're not able to think straight. At that point, what you want to have is good tools to bring that level down, that arousal down. Now, we all think that it's in our head, all that thoughts, and that we try and talk ourselves out of it by saying things like, you know, I'm safe, I'm okay, nothing's going to happen to me, just keep going, you're going to be all right. But the point is your nervous system doesn't live up here in your head, it's in your body. So what you can do is exercises or ways to calm your nervous system down by touching your body. It could be your hand and your stomach. Just touch, soothing touch, perhaps stroking your arms. Some people who have got longer hair might twiddle their hair. Anything that's sort of soothing and comforting that lets your nervous system know that, you know what, everything's okay, it's fine. If you think when you've got a baby it's crying, you rock it. Perhaps your hands on your shoulders and start to just move your body, just gently. It's very soothing, just rocking your body. Other people might find that they can, they can feel tension. So perhaps by stretching your spine. Anything that's soothing at all can start to calm that part of your nervous system that's in fear. So try that. Our body, our somatic system is looking at that point to know that it's safe. It's not our mind. By soothing the body and calming the body, it can absolutely calm the mind. Now what about when we're low, we went below that, so we're sitting and we're like in the feigning death mode of our nervous system, where we just feel that we haven't got any energy and that we just feel everything's just frozen in time. The important here is quite opposite, you've got to move. So when you feel like that, if you're sitting down, stand up, stand up, move your body, perhaps shake it. Movement is the key here when you're feeling that numb way. It's definitely movement to get to get that more energy going through your body. Or remember the power stand, stand up tall and stretch with your hands up straight. That increases the energy. Another thing that you can do for when you're hyper aroused, when you're feeling that really agitated and you're doing that soothing, press your feet really hard into the ground. Press it really good. And you want, what you might find then, as you're pressing your feet into the ground, when you're doing that stroking, that soothing, that can really help as well because it brings you back down into that moment and it's allowing your body to feel, to feel the ground underneath you as well as feeling the soothing movements that you're having or even just stroking your thighs, that can help too. But gently rocking, try that, just try it now, that gentle rocking with your hands crossing your chest and feel what that feels like. It's very calming. I can understand why it calms a crying baby because it definitely soothes your nervous system. Another thing to be aware of, we talk a lot about breathing. Every breath we take in just slightly increases the arousal of our nervous system. So the breath in can actually contribute a tiny little bit to feeling more agitated. But the longer breath out actually increases the calm. So practice these things, practice your breathing. Find out what works for you. 
because all our bodies are different. They all have a different story to tell and they'll all react differently. So find out, is it the stretches? Is it the power stance? Is it the gentle rocking with the soothing movements? Is it pressing the feet in the ground? What works best for you? Have a bash, keep a journal, see what you've tried, see what works. Body has the key to calming that anxiety or taking you out that numb feeling. But any questions, get in touch. Always here to help. Happy to chat. Thank you.